Hi, my name is Edith Gonzalez, and I decided to make my video presentation on chapter 14, which is focusing on mental health, but I decided to focus more on the universal syndromes. So the syndromes that have been universally observed from this chapter are depression, social anxiety, suicide, and schizophrenia. Depression is the most familiar disorder. Some of the symptoms that are part of depression are loss of energy, sadness, and feelings of uselessness. Major depressive disorder, also known as MDD, is a more severe and pervasive form of depression. Although the DSM-5 definition of MDD has been explored, not everybody that has depression goes through the same symptoms. But this doesn't apply to all cultures because depression rates vary around cultures. Social anxiety disorder is actually one of the most common anxiety disorders that there are. Social anxiety is the fear of one acting in an unacceptable manner or embarrassing themselves, which this poor performance could lead them to horrible social consequences. This fear becomes overly excessive to the point where it could lead them to isolating themselves and it could also cause impairment in their lives. Social anxiety disorder is identified everywhere around the globe. Suicide is the most tragic outcome of mental illnesses and it is well defined across cultures. Overall, suicide rates are highest in elderly, but the frequency of suicides greatly varies. And it varies because people from different cultures commit suicide at different stages of their life. In a study conducted by Esken et al., they compared Slavic and Turkish adolescents and their views on suicide and their behaviors towards it through self-questionnaires. The studies showed that Slavic adolescents showed more of a permissive attitude towards suicide, meanwhile the Turkish students rejected the views of suicide more. This is a great example of different views of suicide through different cultures. Schizophrenia is one of the most prevalent mental disorders. For a diagnosis of schizophrenia, one must present two or more of the following symptoms, which include hallucinations, delusions, disorganized behavior, disorganized speech, and other negative symptoms such as flattening of mood. There is a lot of evidence out there that shows that there is a biological foundation of schizophrenia. Although there is no one cause or reason for schizophrenia being present in one person, genetic factors definitely do play a big part when determining the likelihood of one developing schizophrenia. There are a lot of cross-cultural consistencies of schizophrenia around the globe and schizophrenia comes out to be one of the most universally similar psychopathologies across cultures. And here are my references.